and I yeah, really good. hope it does. You know, for selfish reasons. Uh, Suns, Cavs, wow, we got the big three back. Don't look now. Combined for 88 points, a win over Cleveland. Kevin Durant, 37 and 8. Devin Booker with 27, 7 assists, and Bradley Beal with his 24. Devin Booker is back from the ankle sprain, and they combined for those 88. If, if, Chandler, we could keep this big three on that court. How much damage are they capable of doing come playoffs? A lot, a lot. And then when you get the big three, like you got last night, I know the Cavs are banged up. They're missing three starters and they've been dealing with their own issues, but this is what makes this team so scary. I don't want to play this team four to seven <laughs> times in the playoffs when they have three guys that can go and get you 40 on any given night. And you have guys like Grayson Allen have a career year. You have Nurkic that's been, you know, pro just dominating the glass, having a hell of a season too. But this is what makes them the scariest team, I think, in the NBA. They're not the best. Celtics, Nuggets, I think they're better teams. But when you get them rolling like this, you get them in the playoffs, you can't stop them. You can't stop everything. You can't double team KD or Booker because then the other two are going to have wide open shots. When you have a guy like Grace Nowen, who's arguably the best shooter in the NBA this year, he's getting more open looks than he ever have and he has, and he's taken full advantage of it. So... It's, it's tough, and this is why Frank Vogel is sitting here after the game saying, listen, we can be really elite, and I believe him because they haven't been on the floor that much, and when they are and they have games like this, you're like, ah, oh, damn, they, they, this is something special. So I, I hope they stay healthy because the Western Conference is stacked as it is. I think this team has a chance to be a top, you know, Clippers, Nuggets, and them. I've said that for the last couple of months now. It's those three teams to me. And that's no disrespect to the Timberwolves. It's no disrespect to the, to, to the Thunder. I just trust these three older, experienced teams more. And the talent, the offensive firepower that Phoenix, it's undeniable. So when they get going like this, like I said, you can't take away every option. Someone's going to eat that night, and you can't, you can't control all of them. Lou, I, look, we disres I, I, I don't even know that we're purposely disrespecting the Pelicans, but Chandler mentioned Nuggets, Clippers, Suns. And the Suns, we, as we know, we haven't gotten to see the big three over and over and over again. But for you, I know you're a big Clippers. You've got them going through the West. Does you giving the Suns team a chance at all? Hell yeah! When they when they play like this, you gotta <laughs> you, you gotta be mindful of what you're, what you're seeing. You're, you're seeing three of the most elite mid range players of all time, and playoff basketball comes down to half court offense. So when you got three weapons like that that you can post up, you can play in the mid post in the mid range that can face up and then make shots over guys, make tough shots, and can play together. You're going to have a very dangerous team. And, and so I, I look forward to it. My only problem with this Phoenix Suns team, we just hadn't seen enough of it. Can they be very dangerous? Sure. But right now we're looking at that lion in the glass. We need that. We need the glass to be broken right now and, and put some real fear in these teams. And, and they got to start putting a run together where you're like, oh, oh, they're dead serious. This is a for real team. Because right now we've only seen it in spurts. We hadn't seen the consistency yeah. being a big three and a great team. But if they can do what they did last night and put pressure on teams like this come postseason, it's going to be a scary sight for anybody matching up with the Phoenix Suns. What, what's crazy, Lou, is they were getting smacked in the second. They were down, I think, 20 points. But they're all like, like I said, those three guys, I think they went on like a 45 to 10 run or something because you cannot stop them. So they're never out of a game. I don't care if they're down eight, if they're down 28. Like they are never out of the game to that. So that is a luxury to have this much offensive firepower with really good role players like the Royce O'Neal's, like the Nurkic. So they're in a really good spot. If they can stay healthy, I'm telling you, Lou, like if they get the three seed and the Minnesota Timberwolves or Thunder are the are the or six seed versus the three seed, you got them beating them in the in the playoffs. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna like, be tough. Like I said. It's gonna come down to it's gonna come down to half court offense. And who would you want better than Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant to be the guys that you say, okay, the game is slowing down a little bit. We need a bucket every time down the floor. Close your eyes and pick one of those guys, man. They're gonna get a bucket. Doesn't matter. Yeah, literally, it does not matter. And no, there's no three defenders on any team that can match up with those three offensive players. So, like you said. It's crazy, and we're just now kind of seeing it. We haven't seen it all year just because of injuries, but it's it's especially in the playoffs. You know, when it slows down the half court, you can't take away every option. So if they're all three cooking they're like they did last night, they're not losing many games. They're gonna have a mismatch, no matter who they're playing. Some one of one of the three of those guys are gonna have a mismatch. You know, a lot of teams you might have one or two elite defenders. Nobody has three. 
<laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? Nobody has three elite defenders. Somebody is going to have a field day every single game in the playoffs. It is crazy how much more different it is when Booker's out there. Cause we saw Durant over the weekend trying to get it all done and he had a monster game and it was a loss. And now you put Devin Booker back in and, and like you guys are saying, there's no stopping him. Kevin Durant, by the way, at 35 years old, let's not underestimate what it is he's been doing so far. He's averaging 28 and a half points. He's shooting almost 53% from the field and 42 and a half percent from three. Are we not talking enough Lou about KD and the season he's having? We we not we you know he should be getting more attention. I think he's just I think he's a he's a victim of just being quiet. You know when you look at Luca, <laughs> you look at uh you look at Joker and you look at uh, what uh, oh. SGA has been able to accomplish over this season. They got really big, gaudy, historical numbers. And then you throw in a Wimby as well, who's who's a rookie, who's changing the landscape of the league as well. Kevin Durant has only did one thing. He's been consistent. And he's done his job. And every and tried to give the Phoenix Suns an opportunity to win games each and every night that he's been healthy. So I think he's having a consistent season, but he's just a victim of other guys being uh, a lot louder and a lot more gaudy. And, and it's crazy is 53% from the field, the shots he takes, it's not like they're easy. He's posting up yeah. off the block, he stepped back, he's taking long threes. And Kevin Durant, he's on the floor. He's played 58 games. And no matter what, talk shit, say what you want about him going to the to super teams. He went to the Warriors. He's the best player on that team. He now went to the Suns, this big three with Devin Booker. He's the best player on this team. So everywhere he goes, he's the guy. Everywhere he goes, he carries the load. And everywhere he goes, he puts up MVP, first team, all NBA type numbers. So the guy's unbelievable. He's been doing it forever. And the fact that he's healthy and he's been in the lineup when guy, when Devin's been out, when Bradley Beal's been out, he's been the guy consistently for this team. So he's having a great year. He's having an efficient year. Like I said, 53 and 43%. That's insane because he's getting doubled. He's taking step backs. He's not taking high percent shots yet. He's shooting a high percentage. So we're not talking about him just because SGA and Jokic and Luca are putting up these nuts numbers, but this guy is is all NBA, and, and we should be talking about him more. If the Suns were winning more, and if they were healthy this season, we would be talking about them more because they would be a top three team in the in the West. It only takes five minutes of watching a Suns game to remind yourself, like, oh, that's right, that he's fun to watch. I, I like watching Kevin Durant. Your biggest takeaway, Shams, from this win for Phoenix? I mean, I think we've hit on it. Kevin Durant, a massive season. And just think about it. In 2019, he has the Achilles tear. And now he's in his age 35 season. He's got the most 30-point games for a player in, in, in his 30 in his 35 years of age. Like what he's doing this season is remarkable, especially the last four games or so. He's been taking it up in, in even another level with Devin Booker out. Uh, I mean, 38 points a night, 54% from the field, 47% from three. So he's doing everything. This team is 19 and nine since January 8th. And even though they played 41 games this year without the big three, just 24 with them. I think these next few weeks, it's like just building momentum with those three in the lineup. You have to have them. And they've struggled down the stretch of some of these games. And like Lou and Chandler know, a lot of that is because they haven't built that level of consistency. Well, now you have a stretch of about a month. If these guys can stay healthy, build some momentum and, and chemistry down the stretch of games, learning how to close games out. Uh, the last thing you want to do is put yourself in situations where these three guys are having to close games out for the, for the fourth or fifth times in the playoffs. They can do it. They have the talent, but a lot of that comes through chemistry, repetition, and hopefully they get that opportunity over the next month. Bubble wrap and ice. Uh, 